Hello, good evening. This is Anna Gonsalves here, and I'm from MiraculousLives.com, and I'm delighted to be here tonight. And I want to say a big thank you to Brother Sean and the community who have been really supportive of every single person who has been part of this wonderful journey. Thank you to you all for being the supporters and the creators of this platform to share our gifts. And I want to start also by lighting a candle for peace for everyone on this call tonight and for everyone who is involved in Doves for Peace. May you be filled with light in your heart and may you be filled with love in your being. I so appreciate you all. Thank you. Okay, before we begin, I'd like to take a few moments for us to set an intention and for us to get present with where we are right now. And if you have many windows open, it's probably a good time to just come back to this place and just leave that away for now. and. Bring your focus to the here and now. So if you can just begin to sense yourself in your body, in where you are, especially in your feet. You're grounded, you're connected to Mother Earth, and you're present in this body. It's a wonderful opportunity that you are here. My intention tonight is that I hope that you receive all that is in the highest good for you right now. My intention is for you to connect with who you are and for you to receive everything that your heart has been yearning for and anything else that may be in balance with what you need right now. Amen. Right, my name is Anna Goncalves, as many of you know, and I'm from MiraculousLives.com and this year I will be talking about living in the light and what are the essentials and how we each have a part to play in this world by being truthful with who we are and diving deep into the connection we all have as one and tonight I felt spirit is guiding me and what has been coming up has been about preparation and right now it feels like there is a lot of air in that there's a lot of static with the energies of the planet because it's been as you probably know that since 21st of December or even January it's been like up and down up and down there's been a lot of releasing of the old and there's been a lot of challenges as well with us all in health and emotions and physical challenges in regards to a lot of changes taking place and what is currently 
happening is that we as human beings and as being on earth there is a restructuring taking place with everyone so because there's been a lot of changes everyone has been doing the best that they can to keep up with what they know and so there's been a lot of imbalances in our lives whether that is in health or whether that's the old habits and anything that has been put to the side it's resurfacing so if you're thinking about things which don't make sense or things that are from a long time ago it's because they are coming up to be released they're coming up to be looked at and brought to the light and when it's a shift like this on a global level when everyone is also experiencing that and of course there are some who are smooth sailing in this year they are not having those challenges come up because they've been having those challenges prior and everyone's dealing with it in the best that they can and because the energetics of it it's been really challenging to every one of us the energetics of everything that's happening on the planet it affects different people and we have a different vibration as well and when something is elevating us up and we are not completely in alignment with that energy we often fall back down because there are things that we need to clear out of our own system first before moving in that direction and I want to say that that's okay everyone is in their own journey and what comes up for us the challenges and anything health related it's actually a blessing because it's showing us what needs to be healed and what we can give attention and love to because there's a part in that that it really needs that healing and it's something that we as individuals have the opportunity to look at and so I advise you to look at anything that is in your life now that has been a challenge to look at as a blessing because it's actually serving you in the wider way and I've never seen things as life itself as right or wrong I see it as a blessing because we each are here to fully experiencing everything in its full essence and to really bring our spirit into the light so the more we bring our spirit into the light the more there is the shadow that is revealed and what that is it's parts of ourselves that haven't been looked at or the light hasn't focused on and in that I see the shadow as equal value as the light because we are part of the whole and when you begin to appreciate and accept every part of you especially the parts which you are not happy with or you think that you want to get rid of them those parts especially they want you to look at them they want you to love them they want you to accept them because when you start loving every part you start bringing everything into the light and you feel more connected with your heart and you feel more connected with the whole being that you are and that's why this place on earth is like this because 
we are the earth itself as the light so it's between working ourselves in the dense experiences that we get to grow and bloom like a flower and as we come out we have that wisdom about who we are and what we can share and give to others and that's one of the ways that you can really begin to hone in on who you are in a more wholesome way and start living from the light this year and what has also been coming up has been about commitment and what you choose to focus your eyesight your energy and your time on and what is important to you this year it seems like it's very much about following your passion or activating your heart in areas where prior you would have been interested but you wouldn't have dipped your toe in and this year it's about following that calling in your heart you know that you desire to have this experience or you desire to step into this new experience of a hobby there's all these opportunities that are opening up and when you get clear with what it is that your des desire is in your heart you can begin to commit to it and work towards it because when you commit to igniting your heart's desires anything is possible so that's what else is going on at the moment because it's been the challenges to clear out and to really come into full acceptance of your whole self more so because sometimes when we do clearing it's actually bringing us more in touch with who we truly are our connection with ourselves and that's what it truly is and it's not just eradicating that out of your system it's really bringing you in complete union with love you can probably see the cat is here she wants to say hello can you see her <laughs> and so all these experiences that you are having right now they are guiding you to live in the light and they are broadening your horizons to yourself and to love because ultimately that's why we're here to return to love and when I mean return to living in the light that's what it ultimately is so I'm sensing there's a lot of newness in terms of connecting with the desires that are in your heart and that desire to come out into the world because a desire is pretty much an expression it's a seed in a way it's like God is giving you the opportunity to express this because it's leading you into that experience and when you have a desire you know that you are meant to activate it and to step into it so when the seed is planted even just a little bit a thought you are meant to experience that because it's already been planted and it's taking you to that place where it will be your experience and how you actually carve it into your experience is by focusing on that desire a hundred percent and committing yourself to it when you commit yourself to anything that is when miracles happen that's when you change that's when energy shifts it's really an incredible opportunity for you to step 
into the space of knowing that you have this life where you can experience anything that is within your heart so say for instance if you have been sick for a long time and your commitment is to feel healthy and to feel a hundred percent alive this is an example then you will commit to feeling that way no matter what and when you commit to feeling that way and to taking those actions that are in alignment with your heart every day everything opens up because you're showing the universe this is what I desire this is really what my life is about and you know it's like flipping the coin it's as easy as that because going into the depression this is an example from experience I was more than likely to go into the depression very quickly and when it came into going into feeling happy it was an uphill climb and with the abstract mention of this flipping of the coin it's the same because when you focus on what you desire a hundred percent committing to that outcome already you manifest it with the term of depression I was already feeling like I wanted to go there it was like I didn't really I was really sabotaging myself I felt like I wasn't worthy so in that way I attracted the depression and that was my choice and I really believe that everyone here on the planet we all make choices in our life each day and one of the ways to change anything around is by committing and when you're committed to doing something or to sorry about that the cat passed again she loves you all <laughs> when you're committing to choose to live life in a different way to be a different person and be really who you are on the out inside out into the world that's when you say to the universe yes this is who I'm being this is my life and you create it so we are at a point where we are being asked to go into this area more so and to trust that where we are being guided is the right place for us especially when it feels really good if you have a desire and you've never experienced it and it feels really scary however in your heart you're feeling yes 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 then that's a clear indicator that that desire is for you and you're meant to experience it and with that working on committing yourself each day just a little step by step is all that's needed the step by steps are the ones that will take you to activating that desire and to take you to experiencing that desire in your life each day so if it's something like I mentioned that you want to get healthier because you're feeling sick then you can focus on what it is that makes you feel better and choosing simple things that make you feel better each day it can be to eat healthier it can be to receive healing it can be something so simple and yet so powerful because when you focus on making you feel better that's when you are connected to God that's when you are connected to yourself and that's when you choose to live in the light 
of who you are and choose to create your life choose to live that life as a powerful being that you are I love for us to get into a short meditation now because I feel that it will really help you and before I go into the meditation I wanted to invite you all to a sacred money circle I have been asked by spirit to facilitate and what that is it's actually about balancing the energies in the earth and each other the feminine and the masculine and connecting you with love and your potential and really just allowing the giving and the receiving the balance to be in the neutral feeling in the neutral area because like I mentioned there's been a lot of challenges and right now we are moving out of the old and into the new so there's a lot of old thinking and I am sensing and I also have been working with clients that there are desiring to live from the inside out and there seems to be a block there seems to be something that is stopping them from going forward and that thing is the money aspect of it and when they say block automatically I link it to connection God and love and so since January I received a download and it seems very important right now to facilitate this to as many people as possible to really help them ground them in the earth and connect them to the universe to God with at the same time bring their heart connection in balance with all of the earth so it's very deep activation work and energetic work and a lot of rebalancing with the feminine and the masculine and activating the potential of who we are inside so if you want to find out more please visit www.miraculouslives.com and then there's a slash and it's sacred money circle and it's very much about the masculine and the feminine rebalancing those energies in each other and on earth because by bringing in the light and doing the rebalance energetically that's where the shift will happen because usually if there's a block you can go to the root cause and identify it and clear it energetically however if you don't go to the root and clear it then it will always keep coming up and you don't know why and yet you know that it's there because every experience that you have is always preventing you from going forward and this is the type of work that I help people with as well so you are more than welcome to visit my website miraculouslives.com and book a complimentary consultation and we'll see how I can help you with as well so that work is there, that facilitation and how it works is that I'll be guiding you into those activations and working with the theme of the group at the time because there's always an energetic message and vibration that occurs and at the same time rebalancing those energies 
and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and there will also be a private Facebook group to share your experiences and any shifts and so feel free to check that out I would love to have you over as I said I've been called to do this now and it feels very connected with the energy of the new and really aligning everyone to their potential so they can be in a balanced receiving receptivity and giving state because that's what it's about it's about being in that vibration where you are equally giving and receiving and not giving 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 or receiving 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 you are balanced in your whole self so feel free to check that out right let's start with a meditation a journey into your heart now let's take a few moments to take three nice long deep breaths breathe in <sighs> breathe out and when you breathe out feel free to sigh I always do because it's just releasing it all out breathing in breathing out <sighs> breathing in breathing out good I have my cat here on my lap so if I'm looking down you know why now let's just take a few moments to just feel where we are in our body do you feel any aches and pains in your body if you feel them please go to them now now I'm gonna ask you to envision yourself with a golden ball in your hand and you're gonna send this golden ball into the areas that are filled with tension right now or in pain and just place that golden ball in those areas and as the golden ball is being placed in those areas it's melting away all that pain all that resistance and you're falling back into relaxation and allow yourself to receive and feel peaceful better at one just continue to send any area in your body that has any tension and what I'm sensing here is that it's usually in the back if you've been holding on to a lot of tension carrying a lot of work of other people's work or not feeling supported please imagine yourself sending your back the entire back from the top from of your elbows golden ball of light all over the back slowly and you can imagine yourself smudging it all over the back and it's feeling very nourishing and good and you are feeling very grateful for this experience imagine the golden ball smudging all over your back as it smudges the pain the tension away you are supported you are fully supported now imagine that golden ball at the root of your back at the lower back and just envision yourself rubbing that golden ball around that area sending you lots of love
from God sending you lots of healing light and it feels better and it's washing away that tension it's making you feel empowered and connected just continue to envision that golden ball of light being smudged all over your back wherever there is any pain or any tension or you feel heavy just observe and feel the golden ball all over your back and just rest in that rest in the knowing that you are supported and loved now going to your heart and now sprinkle the golden ball of light over your heart and accept the golden light into your heart if you desire to bathe to smudge this area you may do so however for gentle purposes when you sprinkle golden dust over your heart you begin to feel even more connected and loving with yourself and gentle and just feel it feel the connection here and just be with this space gold sprinkles of gold over your heart you are loved and cherished for who you are and you are amazing and I love you continue to receive those sprinkles of gold from that ball and feel the connection now if you can imagine that same golden ball above your head and we're gonna use that to go through the whole of your body now to cleanse away and to invite you to feel connected with God that golden light is coming over your head it's clearing away the tension from your head imagine it over your face cleansing your face cleansing your neck and feel golden sprinkles over your neck you are safe to speak up and communicate your voice feel that golden light coming over your chest and over your stomach and feel that golden light in your stomach where you are empowered connected with God where you create your life here and you can do all that you desire and let it wash away any tension here feel that golden light just below the belly button cleansing away washing away the tension making you feel connected with all brothers and sisters on the planet making you feel connected with your loved ones with your animals making you feel inspired and creative continue to watch that golden light go down through your legs now and it's going down through your knees you're walking in life with ease you're stepping forward you are receiving and you are giving you're standing tall in who you are continue to watch that 
golden light go down through your ankles into your feet and now it's going through your feet down into the earth down down through the earth back into the center of the earth and now just start feeling your feet how do they feel do you feel connected to the floor to mother earth and just feel grateful for this receiving this golden light of love given to you now I'd love for everyone to hug themselves I invite you to hug yourself right now just give yourself a big hug of love and say thank you thank you thank you I love you with all my heart out loud or in quiet if you like just give yourself a loving hug and once again say thank you thank you thank you I love you with all my heart and just sit there for a few minutes bathing in your love grateful for who you are and all that you have done experienced and created you are loved you are cherished and adored we love you always you are doing the best that you can always come back to us at any moment because you can always return to love find moments each day to surrender to divinity to love to who you are and know that you can trust us always love yourself unconditionally as you are always thank you so much for being here I hope that today's show helped you and I hope that you have a wonderful day or evening depending when you get this and feel free to check out my website miraculouslives.com and if you desire any help then feel free to book a complimentary consultation I am here for you always and if you need any kind of help feel free to reach out to me as well my email is a N A G O N C A L V E S Intuitive Soul Coach at Gmail dot com. Feel free to email me. I will be more than happy to receive you and to help you in any way that I can. And like I said the money circle is open and the first call will be next Thursday at 5 o'clock GMT British time so whatever you do be well and I send you all my love until next time